I'm Mike Sokol and welcome to the How To Seminars RV Electrical Safety Channel. You may remember a couple of weeks ago where we did a demonstration on YouTube that had me using a little Volkswagen microbus to show what would happen if you had electrified the skin of the RV, something that's called an RV hot skin condition. Uh, right here in front of me, I have my little VW microbus, and I have my action figure by the name of Flash. I'm going to show you what happens if you're touching the ground at the same time that you're touching an electrified RV. Okay, here we go. Now, if that had been your heart, it would have put you into fibrillation, and without CPR, you would have died within a few moments. So we, we decided that we would take this to the next level. And our friends at Beckley's RV up in Thurmont, Maryland, said I could have a 40-foot RV to uh, experiment on. So we've decided to supersize with a, um, a full-size Raptor uh, toy hauler RV. So let's show you what happens and how you can check for your own RV for this dangerous hot skin condition. OK, I'm going to show you how to use simple $30 volt alert tester made by Fluke Manufacturing to confirm whether or not your RV has dangerous electrical voltage. Now it's something that we call a hot skin condition and that's when your RV has been improperly grounded either through a bad extension cord or plugged into a campsite outlet that's in, been improperly wired or even the RV's not been properly maintained and it has um, a broken wiring system, broken ground system within it. So this little tester will allow us to confirm you a, as a camper whether or not something's wrong with your RV system. Okay, so this guy, uh, basically, um, you push the button to turn it on. You just push one button, and it does a little beep beep, and you can see the light is blinking every couple of seconds, and it says it's in sensing mode. So it's ready to look for uh, electrical service. Now this is exactly the same unit that you would use for um, testing a power outlet in your house. But we're going to use it to check the RV skin. So a good place to test is right on the door frame or the steps, because the steps are always tied into the frame of the RV. So I'm going to go ahead, I have this powered up. I'm going to go ahead and point it down right at my steps. And you can see it's just blinking every couple seconds, and it says everything is OK. Now. If we bring up the voltage on the RV to about 40 volts or so, that simulates what happens if you have a broken ground on your power cord and you have a mild amount of leakage internally in the RV's electrical system. In that case, when I reach down here and touch it with this plastic tip, it's now beeping and the light is on. And it tells you there's 40 volts on the RV body and everything on the RV is electrified. The wheels are electrified, the chassis is electrified, the hitch is electrified. If you have a pickup truck hooked to it, your truck is electrified, everything. 40 volts AC is enough to give you a serious shock, especially if you're wet. In fact, if you're wet, it's enough to send your heart into a heart attack. If I have a condition of 80 volts, turn up the voltage mark, please. If I have a condition of 80 volts, I could be several inches away. And this is beeping and telling us that there's a dangerous amount of voltage on the entire RV. If you have 120 volts on the RV, which is, can, be, can be caused if a power extension cord is wired improperly, I can be a foot and a half away. And virtually everything on this RV is electrified. So this is definitely a dangerous voltage. Um, if you are standing on the ground with damp shoes at all, this would give you a serious shock. If you're, if you're touching this, if you're standing with, um, wet, on wet grass, this would probably kill you. Even concrete has enough uh, leakage. Now, I will note that you have to have two points of contact to be shocked. So be if, because I'm standing on the ground and I'm not touching the RV, everything's perfectly safe. Okay, power's down to zero right now. If I'm standing on the RV itself, so I'm standing on the steps, and the RV is showing safe 
right now. However, I can electrify the RV and it's not going to tell me that it's, it's improper. So go ahead and turn up 120 volts, please. So because my body's at the exact same voltage as the RV, this will not tell me that the RV is electrified. So if you're inside, it won't tell you, and you point it at your sink, it's not going to tell you that it's dangerous. And in fact, it's not dangerous to be standing up here right now. If, though, I touch the ground at the same time that I'm standing on the steps, I could be severely shocked. So zero voltage, please. So things, again, that can cause this condition are miswired receptacles on, the, on a power, power pod in an RV campsite. It can be an improperly wired extension cord that is never used an extension cord that you made up yourself or your buddy made up, or improper maintenance on your RV. So anytime you have, anytime you show an electrical condition at all like this, you should immediately contact a certified RV technician or an electrician to determine what is wrong. So I think a really good thing to do after you've plugged into your campsite power, shore power, is to simply take a volt alert and turn it on and just walk up to your RV to test and confirm that there's no voltage. In fact, I would use one of these as I'm walking around visiting other people at, my, at, at a campsite, and I would just check everybody's RVs that I walk up right up to. If somebody has a dangerous voltage, immediately notify uh, whoever is acting as the electrician at the campsite and tell them there's a problem. Turn off the power to that RV right then because that is the condition that can cause electrocution. And it is never normal to get a shock on any appliance. So it's a little different if you have a, everybody has, everybody has felt a, um, a little static shock when you scuff your feet across the carpet and you touch something, you feel like a little blip. That will make this thing maybe beep one time and just kind of go beep. That's quite normal. Anytime you have a sustained beep on this, it means that there is a sustained voltage. And because this will test as low as 40 volts, that is about the normal level where it starts getting to be dangerous. But if you put a meter on it, you should never have more than a volt or two on any RV or any appliance. By the way, you can use this exact same thing for testing your refrigerator at home, uh, your stove. Any of these things should show up as completely benign. That is, you should not be getting any beeps on any appliance. Anytime you feel a shock, something is wrong. Now, given that May is National Electrical Safety Month, I want everybody to know that electricity, while we use it everywhere, can in fact be dangerous if it's misused. Um, to, to read more articles on this, go to my website, noshockzone.org, where I've got a dozen or more articles teaching regular people all about voltage and current and amperage. And also stay tuned to this channel on YouTube, on the How To Seminars channel, for even more videos on how to check extension cords, how to check power pedestals, things to avoid. And I'd like to thank our guys at Beckley's Camping Center for risking a $60,000 um, fifth wheel, very pretty, I might add, to let me show this. Uh, but even though this appeared to be a dangerous stunt that I was doing, first off, don't do this yourself um, with electrifying the body of it. Uh, you see this thing just powered off. But do get a tester and use it on everything that you plug in at a campsite just to confirm that there's no dangerous voltages. If you feel a voltage, stop what you're doing. If your pet is getting shocked stepping into the RV, stop what you're doing. If you're in any kind of water and you're feeling a tingle, get out of the water and stop what you're doing. Because the life you save might be your own or one of your own family members or friends. I'm Mike Sokol. Thank you very much for visiting the How To Seminars and our RV Electrical Safety Channel. Thank you.